Hey, J.D., I'm curious kind of what the team's mindset is, you know, having the number one team in the country coming to town. And, uh, I mean, is that something y'all look at at all, or is there any added pressure for a game like this? Uh, no, nah, we just take it one game at a time, uh, no matter who our opponent is. Uh, Coach Musk can't stress enough how each and every game is just hard to win. So we come with the same mindset. And also, what are your first initial impressions of Auburn as you prepare for them? Uh, I mean, they're a good team. They run. They're athletic. You just got to get back in transition. And you just got to stay in front of them dudes. Curtis? Hey, J.D., you mentioned, you know, how you guys are taking things one game at a time. Last week, you won one game by scoring 99 points. You won the next game by holding the team to 55. With games taking on different identities, how, how does that give you confidence in knowing that no matter what shape a game might take, that you guys can find different ways to win? Uh, uh, just um, having a, a good coaching staff the way we do, they give us a great game plan each game, uh, every game plan not the same. So, I mean, we're going to have different scores. So I just feel the coaches put us in good spots to just take on the game, whatever that game plan is. And then Auburn's obviously a pretty good shot blocking team. For a guard like you that, that thrives on driving to the basket, getting to the rim, does that change your approach at all? Or do you just go in there and approach it like normal? Uh. I mean, they got one of the best shot blockers in the country. You just got to go in there and know what you're going to do. You got to have a plan. And that's just everyday work. You want to play against somebody like that. Bob? Hey, hey J.D., how you doing? Um, hey, I, I get the one game at a time approach and all that, but this is the first number one team to play at, at Arkansas since 1991. So long time ago, you know, way before you guys were born, just how big an opportunity is this for you guys? Uh, this is a huge opportunity just to uh, be the number one team in the country, no matter what level it is, uh, no matter where you at. I mean, that's something that you want to do. So that's just another opportunity for us to just go out there and just uh, do, do another great thing. And I guess when you when you watch Auburn, what, what impresses you the most about them? They obviously did do a lot of things well. They won 19 in a row. I mean, uh, I don't watch them that much, so I can tell you. But, like, I mean, they just – they look like they're having fun out there. So, I mean, that's just one thing I can say about them. They look like they have fun. And, you know, speaking of having fun, Eric mentioned that, um, that, that you guys – you know, having fun in your film sessions. I mean, you're serious to practice, but everybody's having a pretty good time. Just kind of what, what's the mindset around the team? How good are you guys feeling with this winning streak? Uh, I mean, we we are setting in the winning streak. We know how it feels to be on a losing streak. So, I mean, we just uh, trying to keep ourselves even-headed and just focus on what's next and just keep moving forward. Thanks. Nate. Yeah, uh, J.D., Auburn plays sometimes 11, 12 people a game. Is there depth of concern on your stamina, and does that put extra pressure on your bench? Uh, no, nah, I don't feel that. Uh, I mean, we got guys that's more than capable of coming in the game and putting up big numbers just as well as they do. So, I mean, I don't see that. What about the tempo of the game? Because obviously both teams like to run. Do you feel it'd be time y'all have to slow it down or anything? Uh, uh, we don't know. I mean, just however the game going, just play it out. Thank you, Scotty. JD Brooks Pearl said earlier today that he remembers seeing you play when he was recruiting Ashton Hagens at at Newton. Um. Curious if, if Auburn recruited you at all. Uh, no, nah, they didn't recruit me, but uh, I do remember talking to them when I was there. Uh, but at, by that time, I was already committed to my old school. So, it was like, yeah. Well, did, did you have any interest in, in Auburn growing up? I just looked at um, 
I think it's just a two hour drive from from your hometown. I mean, uh, if I had an opportunity, yeah, but I mean, they ain't recruit me, so I ain't worried about it. So that just, I just kept going. I got you. Uh, Auburn has a couple of pretty talented bigs and Kessler and Jabari Smith. How do you kind of see that match up uh, with the the bigs that you guys have? Uh, I feel like we got guys that's more than capable of guarding him and we are versatile defenders. So uh, we just look forward to the matchup and just look forward to playing somebody like that. Bob? Hey, J.D., Kamani really, when he's been able to play, he's giving you guys pretty good energy off the bench. Um, just what, what, what do you thought of his play and, and just the energy he brings? And is he like that in practice, too? Uh, yeah, Kamani, he always bring good energy. Um, so uh, when he come in, he just going to do what he do. And every game he does it. So, I mean, we just going to need him to continue to do that. You know, this is something Bruce Pearl mentioned today. I mean, you guys go into Georgia and it's close first half, then you blow their doors off in the second half. Auburn goes in there and barely wins by two. Do you even – so, you know, back-to-back games, you obviously played at Georgia a lot better than they did early score-wise. Did you even look at that, or what, what do you think about that? Uh, I mean, that, that ain't something that uh, we think about. Um, I mean, they did have a pretty good game with Georgia, but they just – different games, different game plans, and it's college basketball. Every game going to be hard to win. So we understand that. Okay, thanks. Yes, sir. All right, Jenny, appreciate your time. Thanks. Yes, sir.